On November 21, 2024, the New Zealand Defence Force, NZDF, took a significant step in modernising its fleet by signing a contract with Spanish company Eurovisa. The agreement, which is the first major land domain procurement from Spain, will see the delivery of 60 VAMTAC utility vehicles starting in 2027. These vehicles will replace part of the NZDF's ageing fleet of Unimog and Pinsgauer vehicles, many of which have been in service for nearly 40 years. The 60 VAMTAC vehicles, part of the first tranche of the Protected Mobility Capability Project PMCP, will include 40 CK3 medium variants and 20 ST5 light variants. The project is supported by 100 million New Zealand dollars allocated in the 2024 budget, which covers the vehicles themselves, spare parts, communication and computing systems, and integration costs. The addition of the VAMTAC fleet is aimed at boosting the NZDF's ability to perform a wide range of roles, including combat, disaster relief, and training. These vehicles are designed to transport personnel and equipment in various challenging environments, from stability operations to humanitarian assistance and disaster relief missions. The vehicles will be equipped with advanced communication systems that comply with network-enabled Army standards, ensuring interoperability with international partners, including NATO members. Sarah Minson, Deputy Secretary of Defense for Capability Delivery, emphasized the vital role that the new fleet will play in New Zealand's domestic and regional operations. The VAMTAC vehicles are essential for transporting personnel and equipment, especially in stability operations and disaster relief, Minson stated. The vehicle's proven reliability, used by over 20 countries globally, reinforces the decision to integrate them into the NZDF's fleet. The VAMTAC CK3 and ST5 vehicles are designed with specific capabilities that align with the NZDF's operational needs. The VAMTAC CK3 medium vehicle has a gross vehicle weight of 9,950 kg and a payload capacity of 4,000 kg, capable of carrying up to 10 personnel. It is also engineered to wade through water up to 1.5 meters deep. On the other hand, the VAMTAC ST5 light vehicle has a maximum weight of 6,000 kg, a payload capacity of 1,700 kg, and can wade through water up to 750 mm deep. Both vehicles feature rollover protection and an internally operated tire inflation system to adapt to various terrain conditions, enhancing their off-road performance. Lieutenant Colonel Brendan Jones, PMCP Capability Integration Lead, highlighted that these vehicles will offer a more modern and reliable alternative to the existing fleet. The specifications of the VAMTAC vehicles, particularly their payload capacities and off-road capabilities, are well suited to both domestic and international emergency response operations. The first tranche of vehicles will replace the Pinsgauers and Unimogs currently assigned to specific operational units. This contract marks a pivotal point in the broader modernization of the NZDF's transportation capabilities. The VAMTAC vehicles represent the first phase in replacing the aging Pinsgauer 6x6 and Mercedes-Benz Unimog fleets, which have been used extensively in operations such as the 2021 Canterbury Floods, Cyclone Gabriel, and the Solomon Islands Assistance Force. The Protected Mobility Capability Project, PMCP, is part of the Ministry of Defense's long-term strategy to modernize the NZDF's fleet. In 2022, a request for proposals, RFP, was issued for the acquisition of right-hand drive utility vehicles, medium, UVM, and utility vehicles, light UVL, aimed at replacing the Pinsgauer and Unimog vehicles. The project's full scope could see the procurement of between 143 and 334 new vehicles, ensuring that the NZDF is equipped with modern, reliable transportation for both domestic and international missions. With the signing of this contract, the New Zealand Defence Force takes a significant step towards enhancing its operational capabilities and maintaining a modern, versatile fleet ready to respond to future challenges.